guys welcome back to a new video today i am finally sharing the story with you guys about why i hate jamie josta from hate breed um if you're not familiar with my videos in my slaying shades where i tend to be pretty critical and blunt of other people i always say i don't hate anybody except for jamie josta from the band hate breed so um a lot of you have asked me why and a good friend of mine was like you are not allowed to say that in a slay and shade until you tell us the story <laughs> so i'm going to be replacing jamie josta in my slay and shades with ivan moody from five finger death punch whom is also a person that i do not like um just to give you a little bit of background i've been going to metal shows since i was 13. um i am a technical death metal fan above any other genre of metal um i am into bands like gojira behemoth surruption spawn of possession uh cattle decapitation i love um and <laughs> Around the time that this happened, I can't admit that I was sort of a music snob. Now, a lot of metalheads um, are pretty critical of a lot of music. You'll get a group of them that absolutely hate clean vocals, won't even listen to anything. And it's like, dude, you're missing out on like some great Opeth and stuff, you know, and that they want the heaviest, the hardest. It doesn't matter if it's good kind of stuff. And... I am a little more into the technical side of things, although I love like Cannibal Corpse and stuff like that. Um, there are a lot of bands that sound the same in like death metal, but there are some real gems, you know. And so at the time that this happened, I was in my early 20s. Um, I may have just been 21. Um, I'm not really sure. But it's like funny because I have to think of what boyfriend I was with at the time to like get the timeline. Um, and I think that my boyfriend and I were like on a break at that time. And I went to the show with my friend Jeannie. So, well, ex-friend Jeannie. So what it is is that I do not like the band Hate Breed. Music is subjective. If you're a fan of theirs, that's awesome. That doesn't mean that you're like shit or I think any like less of you. Um, I don't particularly care for the whole vibe of the band, the straight edge, positivity, arrogance, elitist type of bullshit with what I feel is really bad music. Um, like defeatist, you know, everything, every title of the song is like screamed in the middle of the song. And I feel like they're like an ACDC. Like if you like one hate breed song, like if you like one ACDC song, you pretty much like all of them because they all sound the same. Like they're very like structured the same way. It's just bleh, to me. So first off, I just didn't like the music. But the more I saw Jamie Josta, the more, because Hatebreed would play with a ton of bands that we would like for some reason. So I have seen them, um, I think it was like four times. This happened the second to the last time that I saw them. So I'm also not a fan of any kind of bands that suck up all your time at a venue while they're playing live, having you either chant their name of the band, the name of their band, like, hate breed, hate, which went on for like 15 fucking minutes this time. Um, I also don't like when bands suck up going, hey, 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 just shut the fuck up and just do stuff. And I know it's like to pump up the crowd and whatnot, but it just bothers me. Even good bands do it, you know? Um, so the very first time I saw hate breed, I was like, yes, they're just as bad live as they are when like my friends like them, you know, uh, when I have to like listen to them. So I wasn't a fan. <sighs> Lyrically, I don't like them. Musically, I don't like them. Um, so we were at a show, my friend Jeannie and I, and I can't remember if they were playing with Lacuna Coil or if it was, 
a different band. I really can't remember, but they were headlining the show. So she's like, well, if I get you a ticket, will you come with me? And I remember that my dad drove us um, because we would both be drinking. And I was like, okay, but we're going to leave before Hatebreed comes on, right? And she really liked Hatebreed, so no, that wasn't going to happen. I was like, all right, that's fine, but can we not stay for all of Hatebreed? I mean, I want to be like, you know, I can tolerate having to stand there, you know, if my friend wants to see them. So that's what we did. Um, that was the same night that they were making everybody say hate breed a million of a million times before getting on with the song. And it was just, oh, it was the worst. <laughs> so we're outside and, um, I was smoking a cigarette. There were some younger girls there, probably, I mean, in their like, teens, you know, probably like 16, something like that, maybe 17. And one of these girls you could tell was obsessed with Jamie and really wanted to meet him, really wanted his autograph or picture with him. You know, at the time we would have digital cameras with us if we could get them in because we didn't all have cell phones with the camera, you know, like we do now. So we're outside, I'm smoking a cigarette. Jeannie wants to see if they come out, you know, and stuff. And they are out like kind of moseying around and they got like all their roadies with them. They're talking to people that are with them, a couple people in different bands, things like that. I'm just kind of standing there. So the girl that was like a super fan tries to make her way over in a, I'm not trying to be irritating kind of way, but I really want to meet you. So I want to get closer to you. So you notice me kind of a thing. And one of the roadies tells Jamie that girl over there wants to meet you, like get a picture, you know, whatever. I almost think she had a disposable camera though, and not a digital one. I can't remember. I'm 36 now, so <laughs> I don't remember every single detail. But he says, and I don't know if nobody else heard him, but nobody else really reacted, fuck that fat bitch. What? It's like, that's your fan. You know what I mean? At first, I thought maybe he was going to laugh like he was joking, even though it would have been like a really bad joke. So he's about like a little crowd of people and a couple of roadies, but I'm off to the side. So he's up on the steps to like the back, like entrance to the venue. I heard him. So I start like charging like a fucking asshole. And this was not the right thing to do, but I yell, fuck you, you munchkin fuck. If you don't know, Jamie Josta is a very short little man. And I just like, I don't know. I wasn't even like really drunk or anything. I was just kind of like irate. It was like building. Like every time I had to sit through their sets with bands that I really wanted to see and having to sit through that bullshit set of theirs and then have him be the arrogant asshole that I assumed he was. Because I believe this was either... <sighs> I think I want to say this was when he was already taking over um, for, as the host of Headbangers Ball. When he would sit on that big thing and his legs wouldn't touch the ground. Listen, I'm short too. It's just that he's an asshole. Um, so I, so I like flipped out. So I'm trying to get to him like fists. Like I want to punch this dude in the face. I'm pushed back by like some roadies, and I think he said get that cunt. I don't know for sure. I heard the word cunt. I think he was referring to me. I'm not sure. But the reason why this bothered me so much was these girls, well, the one girl in particular was such a fan. She probably would have cried when, you know, if like she met him, which is a whole other level of like fandom that I don't understand. You know, um, I've met like my favorite singers like Bjorn, you know, from Soil Work and stuff and never was I going to cry. But this girl was just so excited. Like I was thinking he was gonna come down the steps because there weren't really a lot of people that wanted to like meet him even though he acted like, oh, you know, all this, all these cameras or something. Like, give me a fucking break. Um, there was no reason why he couldn't take a picture with her, but especially calling her fat. That really got me. I'm like, okay, so this is a band that's all about positivity, that's all about being straight edge and, and all this crap, and that's the way that you talk about one of your fans. You know what I mean? So I, I, I've hated him ever since. Um, I don't know if he was calling me a cunt or if, 
like he even heard me call him a munchkin fuck. I was just ready to punch him in the face. There were two, no, there was one other time that I saw them where like I went to the venue specifically like an hour before the doors opened just to see if I would see him walking around. I wasn't going to be violent then, but I just wanted to be like, you know, you're such a fucking prick. Now, on the other hand, I have heard many stories about how awesome he is, like to fans. So I don't know if he was just having a bad day or what. So this story may not be that interesting, but I think that he's a little asshole. Uh, he was rude as shit. I don't like that. I don't like his vocals. I don't like the lyrics. I don't like the music. Like I said, that's all subjective, but I think that he is a jerk and I don't like him. And when I think about people that I hate, there's very few of them. But the ones that I could say I hate are pretty much arrogant jerks that I've met that have been in bands. And I, at first, some of them have been nice afterwards, but at first, if I have the opportunity to like take a picture with somebody or like get an autograph or something, it's always like they assume that I'm some kind of, which I've been called this before, band whore and don't actually like the music until I actually have conversations with them and can talk about albums and songs and stuff. And they're like, oh, you didn't want to suck my dick. Oh, no. Okay. Um, but also at these shows, I was skinny. I was fit. I worked out a lot. I'd wear skirts, like goth-ish type, like dresses, boots. I would get shit for that. And what I didn't understand was, is this is not a fashion show. We're at a show. Um, I want to wear whatever the fuck I want to wear. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. They're like the girls that are there like specifically you're just looking at you like you're an asshole or oh she must want to like be with somebody in the band you know meanwhile pretty much every time I've been to a show or met a band I've had a, like a steady boyfriend you know what I mean so I had one slutty moment which I talked about in another video which I use the term slutty which I really don't think that if you're promiscuous like you're slutty as long as you know you know and the person knows that it's nothing serious and you're two consenting adults I don't care but um so I I would get a lot of a lot of crap about the way that I would dress you know and I didn't get it I'm like I'm there to see bands I don't really give a shit you know what I mean so that always kind of bothered me. But anyway, I did go to that venue super early to try to see if I could meet him. Maybe I would have wanted to punch him in the face still, but I just wanted to be like, why are you such an asshole? Um, and so there, like I said, pretty much anybody I could say, like, I really, really dislike to the point of hate are in bands. So I will keep replacing the I don't hate anybody, but so-and-so from this band in my slain shades because I just saw the two more that uh one of them I actually did hit but I just thought of two more that um are pretty good to add to that list so this is the story uh like I said not a fan of him not a fan of what he said to that girl I just really really don't like him like when I hear the name hate breed I automatically think of him think of that and just like get ooh, like so angry and it's not like it's the worst thing that you could ever do to somebody you know what I mean it just so rubbed me the wrong way that it always stuck with me because aside from a few other like instances what I've actually never heard somebody call like a girl fat in the band like oh wait Never mind, there was one other one. <laughs> uh, but usually they're, they're, they are jerks in other ways, you know what I mean? But it was, that was, I think, the first time I ever heard something like that about, like, this girl, and she's young. It's like, this is a young fan of yours. I don't know, I don't think that he... I don't know much about him, but I don't know if he's always been sober, if he used to drink and then became straight edge. I don't know if like he was drinking and, you know, the asshole, the inner asshole came out. I don't know what it was, but I thought it was rude as shit and I'm not a fan. Um, if you do like hate breed, I totally get it. I've heard wonderful stories about him, but he was a real prick that night. 
So this is my Why I Hate Jamie Josta video. Um, I know it wasn't like that exciting, but sometimes it just takes like one little instance, you know what I mean, to be like, ooh, I really want to get them, you know what I mean? Bring out my fist of steel and just brr, 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 brr. So <laughs> that's what happened with Jamie Josta, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want. Um, I'll be back to a new Slain shade probably this weekend. It'll be a remix version of Jeffree Star. So um, other than that, I think that I'm actually going to do a few product reviews because I've been using a lot of like new skincare stuff since um, about like early December or so. And I have been loving a few things that I'd like to talk about, you know, so um, maybe I'll sh sh film that tomorrow if I can. But thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. Like I said, I'm sorry if you met Jamie and you loved him and he was great. Um, that is really good for you this particular evening. He was not a very nice person and I have not liked him ever since. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Love and hugs. Bye.